Yo, what up guys? Marcus here. Freedom in the Kingdom. Listen, this is part two of the coupon video. Um, paying your bills with the coupon method. All right, so I left out a major, major detail, right? My apologies, but I had to make this video. Um, I just came for roller skating. That's why I don't have a shirt on. But anyway, focus on what I'm saying right now because this part of the video is super duper important. All right, so listen. I'm sure many of you know what this is, okay? If you don't, this is a U.S. Postal Service certified mail receipt, right? You probably got this from court letters or documents or something important in the mail. And basically what this does is when the sender attaches this to the piece of mail, they get a receipt back, whether it's on a green card, meaning they get mailed back a green card confirming that you got this, or there's an email sent to them electronically that tells them that they have gotten the, 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 uh, the piece of mail that you've sent, what time and the day. Right, and now they've stepped up technology now where um, when you sign, when, when the, uh, the person signs for it, they can actually take the signature and put it in the email so that you can see that as well. Um, of course, all these services cost, um, they cost, I think this costs about 375. The green card costs about, I think five bucks to receive a green card back. The electronic version of, of the certified mail is free, I think, which I use because I don't see the purpose of uh, paying for a green card when I can just electronically go on, put my, um, put this number in right here. Okay, you see this? Put this number in the computer at USPS and I can track the, the mail and I can see what it's signed and delivered, okay? So, you might be asking, why is this super duper important, okay? What well, I'm gonna tell you. First of all, besides the point of knowing when uh, the company or whoever you're sending this piece of mail to gets it, um, there is something called a postal rule, right? I'm gonna read it to you. In 1818, um, Adams versus Lensdale, right? The postal rule was first introduced when the court had to decide the time of contract formation by post, right? The postal rule as accepted in the common law legal system. So, basically the, basically the law states that whatever you send another person, whatever's in the envelope, whatever offer you're offering them, once once you post, once you send that mail off and it's posted, that the offer, the person that's receiving that piece of mail is in a legal binding contract with you. Whether they open it or not, all they have to do is get the piece of mail, sign for it, and before they've opened it, they've already intertwine themselves in a legal binding contract with you regardless if they open the mail or not right so um, this can come in handy in a lot of situations and a lot of things it's been around like I said since 1818 and basically the postal rule prevents both parties for, have to wait for confirmation of a receipt, right? And so when when it's sent in the mail, it's already in the mail, in route, legal binding contract, the offer, offeree, I think that's how you say it, offerer and the offeree, uh, the offeree is already in a legal binding contract. So if you put these UCC codes onto this, uh, Here's another spectrum bill I got from my, my, my shop, right? So, um, and I wanted to point out really quick, right? Because I kept saying check earlier in the other in the other video, and I just wanted to point out, look at the route, look at, usually on a check there's a routing number or a sequence of numbers down here, right, Bill, check that out, right? 
Usually there's like a line on the bottom of your check. Check that out, right? See those lines? This is a check. Don't get it twisted. This is a check. They're going to send this to the government and the government's going to cash it via your SESTA K Trust, okay? Um, there's so much that the world has hidden for you and um, not, I have nothing against lawyers, not all lawyers are the same, but lawyers hold the key to the knowledge that you need to free yourself from legal tyranny, meaning like being shackled under the terms and conditions of the judicial system of the United States and having to work 60, 70 hours a week to pay bills that are already supposed to be paid for you via your SESTA K Trust. Imagine your parents opening a bank account for you when you were born and they never give you access to the money that they put in there and they gamble with your money that was entitled to you and never tell you anything about it until you get really old and then they give you a percentage of it. You work hard all your life and, and go through terminal, or you go through emotional ups and financial ups and downs when there was money available to help you get through what you needed to, to do. This is why most people cannot focus on who they really are and their purpose because they're too busy trying to work to live. That is not what we're created for. The almighty, omnificent, omnipotent, generous, loving God did not make you just to work a nine to five to pay bills, okay? Unfortunate for you and I and anyone else interested in this realm, there is a way to free yourself, right? So stay tuned to this channel because there's gonna be so much more information that'll be so, 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 so important for you and in and, and the generations of your family to come. Um, so yeah, make sure you, every piece of mail that you do a coupon with, make sure you have it certified. If you wanna do the green card, do the green card. If you wanna do electronically, do electronically. If you wanna, I think it's extra to pay for the electronic signature. I personally just use the free option where I can just see that it was received I don't need to see their signature. They had to sign for it to get it. It was the whole purpose of putting that on the piece of mail. Okay? That's super de duper important, right? Because if they try to come at you with some crap like, um, like they didn't get the mail or they don't know where the mail is at or um, something about, you know, they didn't, don't respond or they go silent, then that's when you can write something called a conditional acceptance letter which basically states what options they have before they become legally uh, upside down, meaning they put themselves in a bind and that you could do things to them legally from the U.S. Constitution, uh, UCC, Uniform Commercial Code, the USC. There's so many different codes and laws that apply to these brackets, business brackets, and um, it's our job to utilize them. So, once again, make sure you get to put this on your piece of mail. Listen guys, start reading your mail. If you have your bills um, e-paid, let me, let, me, let, me, let me just point out something real quick before I leave, right? Do you wonder why companies are so adamant about putting you on ePay. Oh, ePay, we'll give you a bonus or we'll give you free money or we'll give you this because they know that sometimes they write stuff like what Spectrum writes on the back of their notices, which is send the bill and, an em and the envelope to us, to this address. And that some people are really, are very observant and be like, wait a minute, they just told us to send the bill in the envelope, they didn't ask for the payment. 
and then they go to research it and being resourceful like like me and you who are watching and they find out that there's laws that are applicable to them that will pay the very exact bill that they're sending to us instead of them getting paid twice. If you like paying people twice, go ahead and just just go ahead and shift to the next video. Go go hit the reels on your Instagram, surf through the stories on Facebook, and just continue with your life, right? But if you think this is important and you're interested and you're still and you're here at this video, congratulations. There's more to come. So peace and love and freedom.